Welcome back, everyone. Now, according to the CDC, more than half of Americans aged 18 and older regularly drink alcohol, and nearly 17% of adults binge drink. But too much alcohol can cause more problems than you might realize. I hope this book has given you a pathway to the life that you deserve. I hope alcohol used, used to be a big part of Veronica Valley's life. My drinking was very chaotic and dangerous from when I was about 15 years old. Like many, Veronica accepted her excessive drinking until she realized it was holding her back. Research shows about 15 million Americans struggle with an alcohol use problem, but only 10% receive help. Excessive alcohol use is linked to an increased risk of injuries, chronic diseases, cancer, and poor pregnancy outcomes. People um, can spend uh, 10 years from the moment they wake up and think, oh, there's something wrong with my drinking, to actually stopping. Pain is another side effect of alcohol. More than half of people with an alcohol use disorder experience some type of persistent pain. In a new British study, researchers found chronic alcohol consumption might make people more sensitive to pain through two different molecular mechanisms. One driven by alcohol intake and one driven by alcohol withdrawal. I discover everything I thought about sobriety and drinking was completely wrong. So um, I thought sobriety was boring. That's what our culture tells us. Veronica finally decided to get sober at 27 and hasn't looked back. The number one thing I want people to know is that when you stop drinking, you don't give up anything. You don't miss out on anything, just the opposite. Now she's a recovery coach and therapist, helping others break free from alcohol addiction. Good perspective there. So Veronica says the number one mistake people make when trying to stop drinking is doing it alone. She says it is so important to find a community of support to get you through.